the vehicle that we have today is our Jack S3. It's a 1.6 liter with CVT transmission. It has DRL or we call daytime running light, which is also LED. At the same time, it has a front and rear fog lamps for safety purposes. It also has the LED daylights. At the same time, it has a sporty 16-inch rims. It has a lot of safety features, namely the ESP, the electronic stability program that we have to prevent um, accidents, especially if the road is slippery. At the same time, it has the ABS or the anti-brake lock system and uh, it also has a hill start assist, especially for those new drivers who's having hard times with uphill climbs when you go to Baguio or even to when you hit traffic and the flyovers. So essentially, the, the exterior as it is and the safety features, we're giving it all to them for a very affordable price. For the Jack S3 um, CVT 1.6 liter, for the interior we have um, the leather seats already for the front and the rear um, seats that we have. It's very sporty, it's a breathable leather material. At the same time, you can expect an 8-inch um, head unit or multimedia which is supported by 6 speakers. On the steering wheel, it has all the controls for the multimedia and AC is already integrated to the head unit as well. The compartment is 600 liters or so essentially you can fit three golf bags. The car is equipped with a roof rail that you can put a top load on if you need extra baggage. If the 600 liters isn't enough, you, you have the option to put uh, a top load on it for extra luggage. The Jack S3 sports a 1.6 liter engine. Um, it's VVT technology. At the same time, it's Euro 5 compliant. It gets up to 118 horsepower and 155 for its torque at 4,000 RPM. So definitely, it's environment friendly. At the same time, if given the transmission with CVT, you get the much needed fuel efficiency for the car. Please do visit Jack Motors Philippines. We have showrooms in Alabang, Pasong Tomamakati, and Santa Rosa. And you can visit our website at jackmotors.ph and you will see all the details that you need for you to own a Jack now. We're very excited that Patriot Tires is now in the Philippines. It's a new American branded tire. They have factories all over the world in Taiwan, China, Indonesia, and Thailand. Despite the different factories, they are all USDOT, Department of Transportation Standard Certified. Patriot Tires is first launched in the United States and now is available in the Philippines. We're very excited for this new brand to complement our Black Rhino wheels because not only does it have all-terrain and mud terrain, it also has the rugged terrain which is in between the mud and the all-terrain. Meaning to say, this is for the buyer who wants the aggressiveness of the look of a mud terrain but don't want the noise, the road noise or the humming of a, of a mud terrain. Right now, we're bringing in the most common sizes that we sell, like the 265-65-17, the 265-60-18, and the 265-50-20, or the 275-55-20, which is most common in most Japanese pickup, light truck, and SUV segment. That's where we're concentrated in, and the price range would be mid-tier, not necessarily high-end. This higher brand is for the middle market. You'll probably see the lineup by first to second quarter of uh, 2020. But for the last quarter of 2019, we will already have the popular sizes.
is for us to tell the customers what CSD as a brand, who is CSD as a brand, and also we launched several tires, ranging from your passenger car radials up to the SUV. Passenger car radials, we highlighted several offers, like the Marquis MR61, a very reliable day-to-day -day driver with fuel efficiency as its main feature. Also, we launched a sport tire called Parkour PK01. It's more inclined on the sporting segment of the uh, passenger car radials. And lastly, the combination of both, the Medallion MDA1. If you want a leisure comfort driving, and at the same time with fuel efficiency, and also you wanted a more sporting feel, that is the tire that we launched. For the SUV segment, we launched an intermediate offer for all-terrain, which is the Sahara all-terrain version 2. The main highlight of that tire is uh, it gives you more capability in terms of the off-road, but not compromising your on-road operation or driving. The last tire that we just launched is the Sahara Mud Terrain 2, or version 2, wherein it's a hybrid offer. A hybrid offer means you can use it on mud terrain operation or on and off operation in uh, on-road operation, like I said, without compromise of the on-road features. We are eyeing for the third and fourth tier. These steering in the tire segment are the ones that are more attainable, easy to buy. Uh, it's not as expensive, but it will give you more premium uh, quality features. One of the things that we wanted to achieve here in the country is to be very available in a lot of dealers. But not all dealers can sell uh, the same tire that we are offering. There are certain dealers that we have, and dealer partners that we have, that are focused on the commercial side. In the future, we are going to release more of the commercial operation side. It will give better choices for our dealer partners in the country. Today is the third leg of the 2019 Isuzu Fuel Eco Challenge, Isuzu Club Edition. We have gathered here in our assembly plant with the representatives coming from the team Isuzu Car Enthusiasts to experience first-hand our RZ4E model's capacity to perform under low fuel consumption. We have made this Isuzu Fuel Eco Challenge as part of our advocacy in promoting fuel efficient driving, which is necessary today. Given the unpredictable prices of the fuel nowadays, our fuel-efficient RZ4E Mu X and D Max are the perfect partners of our economical drivers. We would like to invite all televiewers to come and visit any of Isuzu dealership nationwide and test drive our Isuzu RZ4E Mu X and D-Max to experience optimum performance at less fuel consumption. This 
facilities are encompass three areas. You know? Number one, a training center for lectures and uh, hands-on projects. And number two, a technical services group, which not only uh, gives advice to our customers when they have problems, but also handle actual maintenance services for fleet customers who want to contract uh, maintenance to us. You know, that's one of the new approaches where big fleets no longer want to have their own maintenance shop, but rather outsource their maintenance to companies like ours or our dealers. So, so that's the second part of this. And then of course, the third is the parts and warehouse. And lastly, motor vehicle inspection facility. There are inspection facilities for cars, very numerous private small companies doing that. But for heavy commercial vehicles, there are none except, I think, two stations that are run by government. So now this is our offering of what a motor vehicle inspection system should be for heavy commercial vehicles. And here the equipment really uh, is capable of hand testing for road services, tractors, trailers, all of the heavy equipment that goes with moving vehicles along the road. So this inspection system is supposed to be the basis for roadworthiness certifications uh, that gradually the government will install so that no non-roadworthy vehicles can be on the road. There are not very many training centers outside for commercial vehicles. Maraming driving schools, no, pero not for commercial vehicles. And this is precisely what we put this up because many of our customers, you know, sometimes we have customers who buy 20 trucks and after two months, three months, they're still operating only 10. Why? Because they cannot find good drivers. There are always drivers, but not for high value deliveries that, that can be broken down or, or destroyed or damaged by somebody who's not trained. So really, it's a continuing effort to, to train commercial vehicle drivers, because many of them, the good ones anyway, they keep going to Saudi Arabia or somewhere else, okay? We're recognizing that uh, we set this up because most of our customers really are needing this. This is the transport and logistics show which we regularly join basically because our product line is uh, precisely fitting what transport companies and logistics companies need. So we're here to also take advantage of this occasion to launch a new product, the FC range, which is a mid-range truck which is 10,500 kilograms gross vehicle weight category. And it has a multi-purpose application for aluminum vans, roast vans, and even dump trucks for medium-sized construction cargo requirements. We have this one, is our offering for the modern jeepney. And of course, the FC is on the other side. Basically, we have three series, the light commercial vehicles, medium-sized, and heavy trucks and buses. This jeepney replacement unit is based on a truck chassis that is Euro 4 compliant and it's been built locally in our own factory uh, together with other local bodybuilders to meet the category 2 and category 3 of the modern jeep. This jeepney can seat about 20 to 21 passengers and have a standing capacity of about uh, 7 passengers. So to bring close to 30 people in a jeepney replacement unit. Hino, being a specialist in commercial vehicles, really focuses all of their research and development efforts in the truck line and in diesel engines. Our uh, Euro 4 diesel engine is one of the most efficient and developed specifically to meet the emission standards of our country and the rest of Asia. Most of the problems we have are the quality and quantity of our drivers. And that is why Hino recognizes that and 
has put in a lot of accessories for driver comfort. Their experience is, for example, this particular unit is already air-conditioned for the driver. For the driver, this is something new, and because the observation is, when the driver is comfortable, he takes better care of the unit, uh, less accidents happen. This is statistically proven elsewhere, and therefore, better care of the unit, and the goods get delivered on time when driver is comfortable. It also makes it attractive uh, as a job to professionalize when uh, you can work in good working environments. So this is also item Hino is addressing in this new range of trucks. Our model lineup is uh, continuously being evolved and uh, we of course are very proud of this jeepney which we work together with uh, the OTR and Mark De Leon. Also we are in line for preparing the new generation of buses that DOTR is uh, trying to structure. There will be a minibus class, a large bus class, that they want to make sure that the transport system upgrades to in the long run. So, yes, we are working very closely with government and we feel comfortable that we have the platform to support such application development that is fit the requirement of the country as we try to improve the transport sector from the commercial vehicle point of view.